Hello, GMT Pointing Specialist Limited here. Uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of pointing on some stonework just to show you the techniques uh, that I do. Uh, see if they're any good for you. Uh, I've got a sheet on the floor to catch any excess mortar. I've got my bucket on my steps so I'm not bending out down all the time. I've got various, um, various trowels in there. Uh, and I use a pointer's hod. Uh, I don't like to use a hawk or a flat board. I've always used the hod from the day I started. So that's what's good for me. Uh, you'll find out what's, what's better techniques for you. Just try different things. Uh, I've pre-wet the wall. Um, so that wall's damp. Uh, I've washed this wall out about five or six times. Um, and then I've packed it back. With uh, any excess mortar I've dropped on my sheet, I use to fill any deep voids, and then I'll get a stone, put it in, and then point over the top of it. That saves on lime, and it gives you a stronger, a stronger finish as well, uh, and you're not using as much lime. So I'll show you a few little techniques on, especially if you're just learning how to point. Uh, We'll just, I'll show you different things. Right, so I've got different size trowels. You want one that'll fit in the joint. Like that one. Right, so when you're first starting, what you'll do is you'll put your hod or whatever you're using against the wall and pull back on yourself. Keep pulling back on yourself. What you'll do when you start, you'll only use the front little piece. Yeah. But when you start going, you'll use the whole thing. Right. And then when you filled it, I know that's not deep enough. What you can do is you can press it. And if it compacts right in, like there, just go over it again. And actually building it out. What you don't want to do is keep doing that. Because you're bringing all the water to the top. So it's not keying properly to the inside. So when you've done that. press it, make sure it compacts back. So this has got the skin on it. I did this about 20 minutes ago. So push it back, make sure there's no voids on it. Just keep tapping it back. Right, there's a little bit of a void there. So when you're gonna do the perp on the stone, start at the bottom of the stone and work your way up building it out. So there again, start at the bottom of your stone, work your way up. in the sand, just find out a big void, put it in. Because I'm using a grit sand, you do get the odd stone in it. As you can see, this isn't a really wet mix. I find it perfect for what I want. So there again, start at the bottom of the stone. So the further you move away with your hod, the longer it takes you to get it into the wall. So if you bring it closer, you can go along at a good speed. 
people always say to me, oh, it's taking ages to put the mix in. You'll get faster and faster over time. But don't rush it. Don't rush. If you're the type of person to rush, don't do it. So, what I'll do is I'll work down and then I'll move across and then I'll start over here and move across again. But my camera wouldn't have shown over there. Not as well anyway. So, when you put it in, just go along, press it. If it sinks in, put a little bit more mortar in. But as you can see, there's no, like when I skinned that one to show you, it's skinny, it shines. See the stuff I've put in? It's all rough. That's the way you want to look. That's the way it wants to look when you've done it. And then I could probably come back two or three hours later and uh, finish it off. Um, strike it back with a stick. This is going to be so the stone's actually showing. The stone's all over the place. This isn't a smooth wall. wall. Right, how far that's sticking out? A good, a good half inch there. starts to get below you just turn your trowel round and pull it up but what you want to be careful is you don't pull it off and then end up putting the trowel through the stone and staining it you can have a trowel that you cut down just to a knob for doing the perps but you don't need to don't get in the habit of cutting good trowels down You just want to keep building it back, overfill it. See, that sunk, so it's not enough in there. So just remember where you've, you've done it. I just keep plugging all that, leave that alone, and then do your area. Whatever you've got on your sheet, use for any voids like there's a void there so I'll take it off the sheet and push it into the void we're pointing your hands on as well so you're not just using a trowel you're using your hands uh, I'll just keep doing a little bit of pointing and I'll rabble on about stuff while I'm doing it um, and then see what you can take from it the reason I don't like it too wet is if I try and squeeze it in here it can squeeze over the face of the stone still moist nice and damp for me to point but when I start getting down here it's not so I'll work out how long it's going to take me to get there so I'll be there within the next five minutes so what I'm going to do is pre-wet the wall just give it a good soak so hopefully it'll be dried out by the time I get there but that'll come with experience uh, if it's not dry, I can work on the other side.
So that technique is pushing it in and then pulling it back. So big void, get a ball of it, push it in, get one of your pins, push that in, and then put your motor on top. If you don't think you're going to be able to do it neat enough, don't do it. Because you want to keep your value in your property. Rather than scrimp and scrape a couple of grand having your pointing done, you might lose that in the end when you, you come to sell your house. They might think, oh, alright, I'm going to have to have that pointing done properly. And then knock it back off you anyway, so you might as well have paid for it in the first place. Right, any more questions uh, just give me a quick uh, message if you didn't understand anything or you just want to know why I do certain things certain ways uh, just let me know uh, feel free to subscribe hit the notification button so when I do a new video uh, or just ask me to do a video and when I get time to do one I'll do one thank you